Hey. Hey, kid. Yes, you. You like getting achievements? You like getting achievements quickly? Well, I have a solution for you. Cheating. Yes, it really is that easy as downloading an external program off of GitHub and clicking a few buttons to get an achievement. Isn't this a bit cheesy for someone who spends thousands of hours grinding out achievements? Yes, it is, which is why I'm obligated to say the following. Warning, you will probably be clowned on by your friends for A, caring about achievements, and B, cheating. Anyways, I'm going to tell you how to get this legitimately because while well, cheating is fun, slaving away at a game for hundreds of hours is much more entertaining. I present to you, BTD6 Sapper Guide, a complete waste of your life edition. First, let me tell you how much of a waste of your life this really is. To get the Sapper achievement, one of the best ways to do this is to play on alternate balloons rounds up to round 250 over and over again. If we do a brief calculation from before this footage was recorded to after this video was recorded, we have a grand 2% increase in completion of this achievement. Now hear me out, the raw footage of this video is an entire hour. Oh, but wait, it gets better. If your computer is slower than mine, or if I did this on my laptop, it goes even slower because the game slows down for struggling to process everything going on screen. This means that if you started from scratch, this achievement would take you literally over 50 hours of sitting here and doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, now jokes aside, let's get started. Try to keep up. First, we're going to use Benjamin as our hero for maximum income. I have all monkey knowledge unlocked, but that's not super important for this run outside having access to the vengeful true sun god. Also, make sure that you have paragons unlocked because those are critical for this. Other than that, just be ready for a long grind. Step one, be as OCD with your placements as possible. This is sure to increase watch time and maximize audience frustration. Anyways, just have a decent defense. If you do what I did, you'll be fine. Now starts a reoccurring theme from this guide. Farm. Farm. Farm some more. The more you farm now, the better it will snowball later in the run. Farm. Farm. Farm until this audio becomes obnoxious. Upgrade your defenses as necessary, and you know, sometimes this game feels like an auto game with how much farming you have to do. Keep going and aim for a monkeyopolis. Now begins overclock hours where we marginally increase our farming using engineer overclocks. Also, a quick note, start using your abilities as actively as possible if you want to save time or if not believe it harder than what I did in this video. Congratulations, you just beat alternate balloons rounds on one of the easiest maps in the game. Have some monkey money. Anyways, continue farming like the alternative is starving in the next potato famine until about round 100. Here, I definitely didn't play optimally due to being too focused on farming, but be prepared for round 100. It comes pretty quickly. Feel free to do what I did and use an overclock or a few abilities on the BAD or reinforced BAD as necessary. Once you feel like you farmed enough and obtained a solid monkeyopolis, now begins Operation Vengeful True Sun God. What I do is place one of each tower type near the sun avatar and use the following upgrade paths. A tier 5 top path cannon, a tier 5 bottom path dartling, a tier 5 middle path wizard, and a tier 5 bottom path engineer. Make sure that you also place the alternate tier 5 super monkeys far away from the sun avatar so that they are not sacrificed along with the other poor unfortunate souls. Repeat the process with the other tier 5s once more after painting a sun temple and you should have a VTSG at the end. Continue farming and building for defenses for a good while. Make sure that while you're doing this that you avoid instant kills at all costs. Examples include Root of the Jungle, Blue Master Alchemist, or even stripping the fortification property using the Bottom Path Mortar. This was explained if you took the time to read the achievement. Some important boosts to DPS include the Top Path Sniper, which applies a debuff on MOA class enemies, making them take more damage, a Top Path Ice Monkey, which also makes balloons take more damage, and a Middle Path Glue for the ability. There's also the Middle Path Village, which is very powerful when timed well. About now is when I start with the Paragons. I started with the Ace Paragon, however the order that you get the Paragons doesn't really matter. The strategy with this is just spam until your screen is completely filled with upgraded variations of the tower that you're trying to make a Paragon of. Following the Ace, I then go for the Ninja Paragon, Wizard Paragon, add a few miscellaneous DPS towers in the middle because I want something to do for 2 seconds other than making tier 4 monkeys for 10 minutes straight, the Dart Paragon, Boomerang Paragon, and then chill at the end until, you know, 250 rounds pass. Now you can go beyond 250 rounds, but this is pretty much what the wiki suggests, and I'm not going to try to optimize it more because I just want my achievement and then to peace out. Hope this is worth the 2% achievement progress and that my humor wasn't too unbearable. And once again, a huge thanks to the people that made this possible. Have a good one, y'all.